Undoubtedly, the recent wave of floods and landslide has left behind a trail of devastation in Nagaland. Many were rendered homeless as the calamity washed away several houses besides landslide burying a few other houses. Despite many houses still at peril, people who were forced to leave their homes are now returning back to the native places. However, they are risking their lives at a time when they are hoping to rebuild their houses as they have no other option other than to return back. We, we didn't receive anything from the part of the government and this, ha this has been happening for years, two, three years now. And even last year we thought that we, the government will take over the uh, projects here regarding the drainage. It, this, has called, this has been caused because of the drainage. They have to evacuate. And then they don't have any other choice. Uh, they go for searching in the other places, but they couldn't get anything. On the part of the government, the uh, ADC, with, along with the uh, NSDMA, they have come and visited. But we have applied for it. But so far on the part of the government, they are still yet to compensate, compensate any of the funds. Speaking to our colleague Sara Konyak, who was on ground in Kohima, affected people said that lack of proper drainage system had led to such a situation. Besides, it was also learned that the government is yet to extend financial aid to them. On August, it was so bad because of the rain, so we shifted to Newmarket for one month. Um, I think on August, then we went and we, we came back on August and the exam all I did. So, it was so bad that we can't stay here because it is too risky. Uh, after we went there, me and my dad, we came again to our house to uh, we put some support to make our house strong so that we can stay for more longer days. So we put some support and we came back because we don't want to leave our house like this alone. So we're just staying in rigs right now. Meanwhile, Nagaland Chief Minister Nephew Rio met Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh on Monday and apprised him of the damage inflicted by the floods and landslides. The Nagaland Chief Minister also sought central assistance to mitigate ongoing relief and restoration works. Not to forget, the recent wave of floods and landslides had devastated the entire state of Nagaland with 12 people losing their lives and 3,000 displaced. The Indian Air Force also swung into action by dropping food materials in the maroon part of the state. With camera person Inzan, Sarah Konyak for Northeast Live.